number of Hajj any one of the Imams did was Imam Hassan alayhi salam. 22 Hajj, yes, Hajjis he performed walking on foot from Medina to Mecca. Can you imagine? Many people said to him, Mawla, you have a camel. Why don't you ride your camel? He said, no, Allah likes the trouble we take to do Hajj. Afdalul A'mali Ahmasa. You know, the, the most troublesome of the actions are the most rewarding, are the most enduring. So he walked all the way from Medina to Mecca. While he was in Mecca, he was doing tawaf of the Kaaba. All of the hajis with him, yes, you know, the hujjaj. They were doing hajj, and while the Imam is in tawaf, tawaf of probably umrah, tamato, a poor person comes and he says, is there anyone who can feed me? I'm hungry. Is there anyone who can buy me clothes? I have no clothing. Can anyone buy me some shoes? I have no shoes. All the people are saying, we're doing tawaf, let's wait. Once we finish tawaf, we'll buy you something. Imam Hassan and Mushtaba al-Islam leaves the tawaf and says, come with me. I'll buy you some food, I'll buy you some clothes, and I'll buy you some shoes. Paying attention, everyone. Imam buys him food, Imam buys him some clothes, and Imam buys him some shoes. After feeding him, buying him things, he comes back. He wants to start the tawaf, and all of these hujjahs now attack the Imam. And Ibn Rasulullah, oh, son of the Holy Prophet, why did you leave tawaf to feed this poor person? Is tawaf not more rewarding? Is there no more tawaf for tawaf than to go and feed a poor person, to buy clothes for a poor person, to buy shoes for the poor person? He said, have you not heard my grandfather, the Holy Prophet, that whoever feeds one poor person, he gets a sawab of three hajj. Have you not heard my grandfather, the Holy Prophet ﷺ say that whoever buys new clothes for a person who has no clothes, he gets a sawab of three hajj. A person who buys shoes for a person who has no shoes, gets a sawab. You see, sometimes ibadat is huququllah, and helping the people is huququl ibad. He said, my grandfather said, fulfill the huququl ibad first. He said, this is hajj of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and that was servant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah knows that I'll come back and perform hajj. I'm not leaving it. I'm only helping out a servant and abd of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. By leaving tawaf, I got the tawaf of nine hajj by helping him for all of those three things that no one helped him. Sometimes we are all so self-centered. We always think about ourselves. I, me, myself. Yes? That we forget about everyone else. Imam Hassan al Islam teaches you a lesson. He says, don't think about I, I, I. Think about we, others. That's the lesson. Don't be selfish. Islam is not about selfishness. Islam is all about thinking about other people. Islam does not like selfish people. <laughs> آقای دلتنگی